contrary to what a lot of you may think be thinking that programming is something very new it is not programming is a very common aspect of our day to day life say for example once your university classes start you have a fixed program when you get up in the morning maybe you wake up brush your teeth get fresh have your bath have your breakfast then take the bus come to the college okay attend the classes then you end of the day catch the bus and go back so there is a systematic sequence of activities so you can think of programming pretty much in every aspect of our life even the way i am conducting this course can be thought of as a program because i am doing a sequence of activities with the end in mind that you will learn programming so the very first step is programming is not a new concept as i already mentioned we program our lives in some ways daily and even over the long term now the only difference is when we write a computer program we need to write it in a manner in which the computer understands your instructions therefore we give a series or a sequence of instructions so that the computer can assist us in solving a given problem now the best way to understand an example of a program is through a very common example let us say for example i am stationed at graphic era deemed university okay as you my office is in graphic era deemed university you are coming in from delhi and you would like to come and meet me let us also assume that you know the directions how to come till the interstate bus terminus or the isbt bus stop in dehradun so you take a bus from delhi come to isbt and then you tell me from isbt sir give me a directions how do i come and meet you so what i am going to do here in the first step i am going to tell you come to the west side and on national High highway 7 going towards saranpur or going towards the isbt circle so first come on west on national highway 7 towards isbt circle once you are in isbt circle take the first exit on to national highway 307 for 2 kilometers basically the way which goes towards saranpur continue for 2 kilometers then after a few kilometers that's after 2 kilometers take a left on to post office road for 1 kilometer after continue on post office road for 1 kilometer turn right into bell road and travel for 200 meters after traveling for 200 meters make a left towards the graphic era university and you can ask someone for directions with sorry where i sit so this should have given you an idea that here i have done the program or i have given you the instructions how to meet me in a very proper sequence if i interchange these particular steps you are not going to be able to come and correctly meet me for example if i straight away right turn right into bell road turn left into post office road and i take this instruction at the last it is not going to work so similarly when we are giving instructions to computers it should be meaningful it should be in a particular sequence the sequence you really wanted to execute or run what i shall do is in order to understand what exactly is programming i will take a very common example okay something which you can relate to and understand what is programming so let us say your parents give you 1000 rupees per month okay to meet your personal pocket expenses and one of your major hobby is listening to music and you like to purchase the songs legally from a website selling the songs so let us assume the cost of one song is 12 rupees now you use the 1000 rupees for different purposes you cannot use all the 1000 rupees for buying songs because you may like to go out for a movie eat outside and things like that so in order to find out how many songs you can buy you have required to write a simple program so you write a simple program to tell you what will be the total cost of n number songs you can download from the site okay so what it's telling you is suppose you enter okay i want to download 10 songs so this particular program or logic will tell you what will be the cost of 
10 or 12 songs for you since the cost of one song is 12 rupees suppose you say you want to download 10 songs it should tell you the cost is going to be 120 rupees or it should charge you 120 rupees so the first thing is you are going to ask if you are writing the instructions or assume you are talking to me and i am the website okay so first thing you are going to ask me is or i am going to ask you is enter the number of songs you would like to download today so let me say i like to download 10 songs today so the value of 10 is going to go into this particular variable called as n then next step what i am going to do here is i am going to ask you or i am going to ask my person internally enter the cost per song so he or she will enter 12 next step is i am going to multiply the number of songs with the cost per song which is going to be 10 into 12 so this is going to finally give me the total cost so here in the last step i am going to show the final cost is this much so here if you have seen i developed a sequence of instructions assuming you want to buy songs from my website so i first asked you how many songs do you want to buy or download then i asked my person internally enter the cost per song he or she enters 12 then i need to multiply this number of songs into the cost per song and then in the last step show the final cost again i cannot interchange these steps because it will lead to incorrect result so this is the simplest example and the most common example of a computer program now i'll try to explain a little bit of the terminology of computer programming okay now the first thing is this sequence of instructions okay i have written in an english like manner is called as pseudo code that means the approach to solve a problem written in an almost english like manner is called as a pseudo code so if you see these are nothing but a series or a sequence of instructions so if you think this as a program this is a series of instructions now the difference between this fellow and a computer program which i will show you in the next part is the computer program may impose certain rules like just here for example i have imposed the rule that any fixed message is going to be within double quotes now the computer may say at the end of each line you are required to put a full stop or a semicolon so those rules of a computer are known as the rules of syntax it is like your grammar in english so syntax tells you after each statement whether to put a semicolon whether to put a full stop what to put in double quotes and so on then computer languages like i mentioned here may specify that okay that each statement or each instruction be followed by a semicolon so this way the computer knows that you have finished one line of instruction so if i put semicolon at the end of this then the computer understands i have done one line of instruction now the failure to put a semicolon for this entire lines if i am writing a computer program just giving an example may lead to something called as a syntax error because you did not follow the rules of the grammar while writing the instructions so that is known as the syntax error every language will have its own unique syntax like for people who have learned hindi english and any other language you will see the rules of grammar are going to be quite different from language to language similarly computer programs are also going to have rules of writing the language or the syntax of the language is going to be different for each particular language now if you see this particular thing which is written in a font called as consolus okay written in blue is also known as a pseudo code so pseudo code is an english like approach representing the solution of a problem where we avoid using a lot of symbols like we use in algorithm if you see this is almost like an english like approach then lastly this is making sense and correctly calculating the cost per 10 or 20 songs but suppose i interchange the order of the logic then what will happen is the syntax may be correct but the semantics are wrong semantics means the logic of the program syntax means the rules of grammar of a program so if the syntax is correct but if the logic is not correct that means the semantics are incorrect and the programming is or the program is of no use to me in the next part of this discussion i am going to show you 
how I have converted this into a C program. We are not yet come to C. So I'm just giving you a little bit idea of how these things are converted into a C program and how we are going to see whether that program is working correctly and produce a correct output.